Hey everyone, Paul Bertarelli reporting from the Resurrected Sport Aviation Showcase in Deland, Florida. Last one of these shows was two years ago in 2019. So how's business? Actually, despite thin crowds, it's a little too good for some companies. Like everyone else, they're finding demand is through the roof, but having trouble delivering orders. As for the show itself, it has about 90 exhibitors, which is maybe a dozen fewer than two years ago. It was a very strange two years in between shows. I was way ahead of pace for the November 20 show in getting the exhibitors committed. And then I got even more for the when we proposed to do it in January when November postponed. And I got even more. Nobody was asking for a refund at all. And then the January show got called. Still nobody asked for a refund, so I was way ahead of pace. And then they started dropping off for different reasons, but it seems like every day somebody would drop off, I'd get two more. So it was just a very fluid market, and that's not typical of the way that they normally book. They make the decision, they're gonna go, and you know they're here. In 19, we were over 100, really close to the 110 mark. So, you know, as has been indicative of the other shows, we lost some share in the exhibitors, but I think due to the nature of the smaller show that I run, we didn't see it quite as much. The, the math has been very interesting because up until a couple of years ago, you could order a new airplane from us and we deliver it to you in six months or eight months or at, at, at the most a year. And all of a sudden with COVID, people have been coming out of the woodwork buying airplanes. The kit business is on fire because we think people have been sitting at home for so long that they're saying, well, if we're going to be sitting at home, we might as well be building an airplane. So we've sold a lot of kits. We've sold a dozen or so just since Oshkosh. And the new airplane business at Oshkosh blew all of our old records away. Uh, up until Oshkosh, I think the most airplanes we'd ever sold at any major show it was like 17 airplanes, maybe 18 airplanes, and we sold 35 airplanes in Oshkosh this year. Uh, it's good news, bad news. The good news is it's nice to have a two-year backlog. The bad news is we have a two-year backlog, and people are having to wait an awful long time to get an airplane. We just received in January of this year our new uh, Super Cub STC for a ground-adjustable composite propeller. Uh, that was for a Lycomi 0360 power Super Cub. So we went for the highest power with the longest diameter. And that'll allow us to do other STCs and type certificated composite propellers that are shorter and for less power. Um, once we got that, boy, what a response. Lots of orders, um, they just came rolling in. Fortunately, we've run into supply issues. Um, actually had uh, trouble getting a composite material, not because of the composite material not being available, but silly stuff like plastic that gets put in between the uh, layers of composite as it's rolled up, cardboard to pack it in, and then we've just seen that roll down through other supply issues, um, hardware, um, we buy um, urethane for inlaid urethane leading edges on our wood props and we can't get that. We're currently out of it right now and I can't deliver any wood props that get that treatment. So it's just been an ongoing thing all year. Uh, so right now we have 18 um, airplanes back to back, eight orders. So we are um, almost fully for the next year. So our deadline for now is 12 months but uh, we solved all the problems that we have with the suppliers um, caused by the pandemic. But now we are ramping up, ramping up um, the production for two airplanes per month for the next year, which sounds really good. 24 airplanes in a year, uh, only for USA, right? Because we have other planes for the Europe and Brazil also. So it, it looks good up to now. The demand is very good. We've got a six month uh, waiting time right now. Um, so an order today in, in um, November would be delivered in about March or April of next year. Um, and in terms of in the field, we have 56 of them in the field right now. And we have four in production as we're speaking. Um, so by the end of the year, we'll have 60 of them in the sky.
In terms of overall interest, um, the phone has been ringing, the emails have been coming in, um, a lot of interest in light sport in general, but the Ranger definitely in particular. So we did have some supply chain issues, primarily um, it was the acrylic for the windscreen. Well, the, the vendor had some issues getting that um, and then the cushion maker again the the leather that we have over the top um, they had some issues getting that but just uh, overall you know we make 95% of the airplane so uh, we didn't really suffer as much as other producers have so sales have been good we had our best year ever we sold uh, 10 planes which is about normal but seven of those 10 planes with a 915 going out the door at around 300,000 each. So financially, the numbers were big this year because the planes were more expensive and people just love the 915. And everybody that gets one is just tickle pink. And we bought uh, three without customers that are coming. We have one in stock now, one spoken for, two coming in December and two more coming in April. So of those five planes, one sold and four are, are just investing. So people, with COVID, it's like a 10 month wait now to get a plane. So we wanted to get some planes in the pipeline so people wouldn't have to wait so long. We've had uh, little delays uh, with one problem or another, but they still get their engines from Rotax. They're, they're aluminum from the United States. And uh, I think having things shipped maybe out of the East Coast is better, not dealing with uh, what's going on in California. And uh, so far, it's been pretty much business as usual.